Two months ago, students returned to school, but for Beacon Hill students, they didn't get to go back to their usual school. Instead, they're sharing a building with Dr. Clark. And so far, just over two months in, Beacon Hill Principal Garrett Tabay says everything is going well. Our kids are so good. It's, we're, yeah, we're two months in. They have settled into, into our school. They've settled into their classrooms. We've got routines going on, and I've got one absolutely incredible staff who are putting their heart and soul into everything for these kids. Due to damages from the wildfire, Beacon Hill School is closed for the year, so Dr. Clark has opened their doors to the bears. Dr. Clark has welcomed us with open arms and has, has worked around like our needs as a school and then also our, we've been working together as a community as well. And the district as well has been overwhelmingly supportive in ensuring that we have small, we are able to maintain small classroom, classroom sizes um, and then also so that we are able to kind of maintain our school identity as well within these walls. Everyone listening please so we can get started. Thank you. For grade two, three teacher, Krista Saunders, she's just happy to be back in the classroom. It means that our family's back. We're an extremely small school um, and a very, very, very close, tight-knit staff. And it really, truly to us, even if we're not in our own building, we're back home. And although things are going fairly well within the integrated schools, not every day is perfect. Along with assistance from district office and counselors, the students of Beacon Hill are adjusting well to their new temporary school. And a large part of that is due to the staff of Beacon Hill. Unbelievable. And every day they just put their best foot forward. And our kids in our classrooms are so fortunate to have these people working with them and for them. For Go, I'm Ben Blanchett.